kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. Kitty kites. One blustery day, the three kitties were anxiously staring out the window. I would love to go outside if it weren't for the wind. Look at it. You're right. There's no way to read a book in wind like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or play badminton. Oh. And Miss Kitty Lou's stroller would never stay put. <laughs> Well, kittens, when the wind blows like this, it's the perfect day for a kite. Sounds great. I think that we should fly kites today. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats wanted to make their kites all by themselves, so they asked Mommy and Daddy for all the supplies they would need. I think our kite should be super big, guys. Nah, because that'd be too heavy. If it's small, it'll fly higher. We really need to have lots of bows in the tail, right? Bows aren't aerodynamic. We should have ribbons. Not having a tail at all would probably make it fly faster. I don't want a fast kite. I want a great big one. I want bows to be on the tail, not just ribbons. Well, I'm going to make my kite the way I want. Then so am I. So the kitty cat house turned into a kite factory. And all three kites came out quite differently. Big with a little tail. Small with a long tail. And medium with no tail at all. The kitty cats took their kites to the top of a hill along with some friends. Yay! Just watch how it's really done. Looks like it's my turn then. The disappointed kittens went home. The wind is so strong that it made flying our kites impossible. <laughs> the problem might not be the wind. Perhaps the kites that you made weren't quite right for flying. We couldn't agree what the kite should look like, so we each made our own instead. Hey, let's use all our ideas. We can work together to make one perfect kite. But we'll agree on a plan for everything, all right? That is a great idea. And Daddy... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be more than happy to help you, kittens. I will? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> With Mommy and Daddy's help, the kitty cats worked together and made a wonderful kite. But when they got to the top of the hill, the wind had stopped. Where are you, silly wind? We need you. Come back. We'll never fly our perfect awesome kite now. <laughs> Hooray, the wind! Everybody ready? All right, then. Let's go flying. Ready, set, whee! <laughs> All right, let her fly. <laughs> It was truly wonderful to see the kites soaring high in the sky, even more special because the kitty cats had made it together. The Kettle Quest. One day, the kittens and Mommy and Daddy were getting ready for tea. Thank you for your help, dear kittens. Everything's ready. I just need to boil some water. 
I think our electric kettle is broken. Ah. <sighs> Well, can't say I'm surprised, not after how long it's been serving us. Oh, no. We won't ever have yummy lemony tea again. It's nothing to worry about, kittens. We'll zip to the store this instant and pick up a nice, shiny new kettle. We'll have a beautiful new kettle. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> At the store, Daddy and the kittens see that they sell way more than just kettles. We should buy some. But you already have markers, Cookie. Yeah, but not these colors. All right, let's buy them. Oh, hammers. I just remembered I need a new hammer. Hey, look at those cool swim fins. Ah! <laughs> oh, those are pretty balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy and the kittens got so carried away shopping that they didn't notice the time. Goodness, we've been here over an hour. Mommy has got to be waiting for us. Come along, let's pay for everything and head home. <laughs> We're oh. back. <laughs> yeah, it appears you had quite a fun shopping trip. You betcha. We bought so many things that we need. New markers. I didn't have all these cool colors. But, Cookie, you already have those colors. Don't you remember? You drew this picture with them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess I forgot about them. Look, Mommy, we also bought a rubber ducky. <laughs> I'll go put it in the bathtub. <laughs> but we've already got lots of rubber ducks. What other things did you buy, my darlings? Uh... You bought holiday tree ornaments in the middle of summer? The snowflakes on them are really beautiful. Look, we also got some snow in a can. What's in that box? That is a sea monster costume, dear. Uh, Where are those fancy parties you like? Yes, I'd prefer something fancier, like a mermaid costume. Certainly not a sea monster one. Oh. 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 <laughs> A swimming pool filter. Oh, that's right. We don't have a swimming pool. Oh, it's, uh, for, um, yeah, that was a silly thing to buy. But wait till you see our nice new hammer because I lost my old one. Um, no, you didn't. I saw it in the cellar. You did? <laughs> Hooray, Mommy found my old one. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we bought, Daddy? I think we should put them down in the cellar for safekeeping. Then there wouldn't be any room left down there. <laughs> Help! I have a really good idea. We should return everything to the store. Wonderful idea, Candy. Uh, we'll do it right after we've eaten something. My poor tummy's all rumbly and empty. Well, then it's a good thing that it happens to be tea time. Uh, there might be one small problem. We forgot to buy a kettle. Oh, no. <laughs> No need to worry, my darlings. We have an old metal kettle in the kitchen somewhere. I can use it to heat the water like they did in the old days on the stove. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The family had their tea after all, and the kittens realized that it's not always good to buy everything you want. It's better to buy the things that you really need. One day, Mom and Dad gave Cookie, Candy, and Pudding a lovely present to play pretend with. Look what we have for you, kittens. Wow. A doctor said. A thermometer. Bandages, too. Doctor's hats. All the things you'll need to start your very own pretend doctor's office. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'll be the doctor. No, I want to be the doctor. Me too. Well, if all of us are going to be doctors, where are we going to find the patients? We'll get all of our friends to be patients. Meow. We're playing doctors. Are any of you sick? Oh, yeah. Very. We make house calls.
well, so we'll be right there. Just let us grab some medicine. Pass the jelly. The three kitty cats' first patient was Cupcake. Now, what seems to be the problem? Something's sort of wrong with my tail. It just doesn't seem to be quite beautiful enough. Right, no problem. I can just snip off the old one and sew on a beautiful peacock's tail instead. Simple. <laughs> I don't need a whole nother tail. I want a second opinion. Right. Um, well, I'm not hearing anything. Shall I wake it up with the oh, hammer? Stop that. We should just wrap the tail in some bandages. Okay, as long as they're pretty. <laughs> Thanks, doctors. Hope you feel better, madam. And remember that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now that Cupcake was feeling better, it was time for the three doctors to visit Chase. It certainly was a very windy walk for the kittens. Thank you. Now, what seems to be the problem? Doctor, I think I'm turning into an alien. I can even talk like one. <laughs> Aha! You seem to have alien fever. Then we have just what you need. Eat some of this cosmic better berry jelly. Cures all alien sickness. Uh, uh, but looks like I ate all the jelly. That's all right, because we can just give you a jelly jab instead. You'll feel like an earthling again in no time, unless it turns you into a watermelon. Or a watering can. <laughs> no, no, I don't want a jelly jab. Calm down, sir. For being such a good patient, I have this jelly lolly for you. And please be sure to get some rest. Oh. I already feel better. So Chase was feeling better, too. Our little doctor still had Boris to fix up, so they ran through the rain to their patient. Hi. What's bothering you, sir? Well, the problem is that I get really, really sad on rainy days when the sky is gray. Maybe we need to curl your whiskers. No, not my whiskers. It's really kind of my tummy that's hurting. Oh, sure. <laughs> sounds weird. <laughs> yep, sounds like you've swallowed a propeller. No, I think it's something even bigger. <laughs> That's your tummy pudding because you scarfed up all that jelly. Huh? Hey, you're right. It's coming from mine. <laughs> <laughs> your tummy will be good as new after you have some tea and oat cakes. And this book about clowns will cheer you up. Oh, I've always thought clowns were awesome. I really love their red noses. Goodness, your noses are really red. Huh? Bobby! We helped all our patients. I just... <laughs> oh, you're all soaking wet. Kittens, get these wet hats off of your heads, and then it's straight to bed. Drink up this nice lemon tea and then sleep so you won't get sick. After a lovely night's sleep, the kittens felt great. Good morning. Ah. Did you call a doctor? I brought you oranges to start your day right. And I've brought some marbles so we can all play. And I brought a joke to cheer you up. <laughs> <laughs> and what doctor's office would be complete <laughs> without a speedy ambulance? Oh, I'm an ambulance. <laughs> What's an ambulance sound like again? Like, like this. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> the kittens loved playing doctors, but they loved even more having tons of healthy energy to play with their friends. Movie makers. One day, Cookie Candy and Pudding were excited about a new project. What's that noise? Sounds like a whale. It's, it's Daddy! Daddy. Uh -huh. Oh. Hi, kids. We really want to make a movie, but don't know how. Oh, well, you're going to need a director and a scriptwriter and a camera person. But, but what, what do those words mean? Well, a screenwriter makes up the story. A director tells the actors what to do. And the camera person records it all on the camera. Hey, I like to make up stories. And I like to tell people what to do. <laughs> I guess that makes me the cameraman. Uh, only I don't exactly have a camera. Don't need one. Nowadays, you can make a movie on a phone. Mommy! Mommy! We're gonna make a movie. Can we pretty please borrow your phone to use as our movie camera? Of course. Just uh -oh. don't lose it. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The cast of the movie has arrived. Boris, Chase, uh -huh. and Cupcake. Meow. What's with these costumes? Our movie's supposed to be about pirates. Well, I'm the beautiful and perfect pirate princess. And I'm a pirate alien from the planet R. Pew, pew, pew. I, of course, am a traditional pirate clown. I'll be in my trailer. 
We can make it work, but first, we need a ship. A broom and a bedsheet turned the sofa into a fine sailing vessel. Well, is the camera on? Uh, uh-huh. All right then, action. Action means do something, otherwise the movie will be a snore. Hey, what if we rock the boat like we're in some kind of storm? <laughs> I can jump too, because I'm a clown after all. <laughs> and I can fall down without hurting myself. Cut! Um. What on earth was that? <laughs> Whoops, I think our ship must have sunk. Pew, pew! How am I supposed to work like this? Wait till you hear what happens next. Whale attack! But who will play the part of the whale? Who else? He'd been practicing whale noises in his sleep all day. Daddy was a natural. Whoa! <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's time for my song now. <sighs> huh? Hey, Granny's not supposed to be in the movie. Oh, I see, it's a phone call. Hello, Granny. No, it's not Mommy, it's just Pudding. I'm making a movie. Pudding, darling, help! <gasps> the forest is a peaceful place. It's silent and furry. And lovely as my furry face. Hey, Pudding, did you get all that? I don't know, because I lost Mom's phone. Uh-oh. Mom's going to be upset about that. We got to find it. Our movie's on it. Well, that's where my dance shoes win. Down the barbecue board. I got it. No, that's a worm. No, no luck. What am I going to say to Mommy? <laughs> I think I have an idea for this scene, but I'll need the whale's telephone. <laughs> Candy's idea was a good one. <gasps> and the movie camera was found. Hooray! That evening, they held a big movie premiere. What'll we do if they don't like our movie? Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we now present High Seas High Chicks. <laughs> 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 Please, everyone, this movie has been awarded the coveted prize for Best Picture of the Year. Amazing! <laughs> wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! Would the filmmakers please come forward to receive their delicious award? And that is how Cookie, Candy, and Pudding made a movie masterpiece and won the Academy Award. Playing in the Dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah, cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. 
I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner in all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh, is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow! Meow! Look what my father just gave to me! A, a cell, cell phone! phone. <laughs> <sighs> it's got a music app with tons of songs! It takes photos! Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Can I have a turn playing too? And me. Can I also have a turn? But first, me. Come on, come on, go! The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament too. Wait a sec. Oh. Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Ah. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! 
<laughs> Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer. We live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, you, Mommy. mommy. Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome. I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal! Awesome! What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm going to play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> 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 oh, well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right, then. Who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, oh! Hey, wow, a real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase, we could use a good striker. Catch it. Hooray! This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. One day, the kitty cats rampaged around all day long. <laughs> and when bedtime came, they did not want to go to sleep. I give up. I'm sorry, but I think it's time. You want me to call him? You sure? Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, you know what, kittens? Guess who's coming over to see you tomorrow? Uncle Muffin! <gasps> to stay with you kids while Dad and I take care of some things. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Uncle Muffin made a big entrance. <laughs> hey, what's up, oh, baby brother? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, great to see you. Oh, howdy, my yeah. niece and nephews. I haven't seen you for so long. Wow, look how big you are. I guess you don't remember me at all, right? But that's cool. After this day together, you will, yeah? <laughs> Go on, Mommy and Daddy. We're fine. Woohoo! <laughs> Uncle Muffin turned out to be lots and lots of fun. He played with the kitty cats just like he was one of them, not worried at all about being responsible. Cleaning up's boring. Instead, let's jump on the couch. Hey! <laughs> we busted the couch. We should probably fix it. Yeah, or not. Let's play ball instead. Hey! Yeah, let's! Huh? <laughs> hey. No. Uncle Muffin, we really need to hang the clock back up. Nah, I'd rather go jump in some puddles. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> Uncle Muffin is behaving really, really badly. Let's lock him outside, where he can't break any more stuff. Yeah, but what if he breaks down the door? Hey! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if we sing him a lullaby, he'll fall asleep. Uncle Muffin, that's enough. Go to sleep, stop breaking stuff. 
but I love breaking, as in breaking out hot tunes. Naughty cat! Naughty cat! Yeah, your lullaby is not gonna help us here. We should find some magical snooze candy. Oh, yeah! Is it all? Hmm. Shame there's no such thing as magic sleep candy. Hey, nephews and niece, come give me a big huggy poo. <laughs> My goodness, really? Kind of like a group of kittens was behaving yesterday. Who? Oh, you're talking about the three of us, right? What? No way! I don't want to be like Uncle Muffin. Me neither, not at all. I have a really good idea. The answer is to behave ourselves. Then we'll be nothing like Uncle Muffin is. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you have all learned your lesson. That's the reason I played my role. Hmm? Uncle Muffin's a talented actor. We invited him to show you exactly what misbehaving too much can look like. Of course, in real life, your Uncle Muffin isn't like that at all. I should say not. Really, I always listen to others, and I'm quite well-mannered. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone pitched in to clean up the big mess Uncle Muffin had made in the house. And the kitty cats behaved beautifully, helping out and having fun. The Talking Birdie. One day, Daddy was busy as usual dreaming up recipes. And so the next step is to take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and then top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. That sounds very yummy. Better write it down, my dear. Daddy, Daddy did, did you, you call, call us? Pudding, little candy, and cookie. Dad, did you just say I was raspberry flavored? Your sweet daddy has just thought up a yummy new dessert recipe. Right. Kitties, before I forget, guess what? The neighbors have gone away for a little trip and have asked us to look after their parrot. There's going to be a real life parrot here? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Birdie, birdie, birdie. You know, I read somewhere that parrots can talk. The birdie can talk? That's awesome! Well, go on, birdie, say something. Don't be shy, say something, say something! Maybe she doesn't want to talk stuck in a cage like that. Well, let's let her out then. Okay, we're listening. Maybe she's a little hungry. Well, what do you say? Say thank you. What you should say is thank you. Maybe the birdie likes candy? Want some candy, girl? Not yet. You can have it if you say please. Maybe she's just too little and hasn't learned how to say anything yet. We should try to teach her. The huh? kitty cats tried to think of just the right word to teach the parrot. Hmm. I think we should teach her how to say boo. Oh. Then when the neighbors get back, she could really scare them. <laughs> but how could we be certain she'd only scare them? What if she started scaring everybody? Bow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should teach her to say, uh, something like congratulations, because that's a word everybody likes hearing. But pudding, congratulations is what you say when something good happens, not just whenever. <gasps> congratulations! Oh. Oh. Congratulations! We should teach him a word that's normal and simple. Something like, hi there. You're right. The bird won't scare anybody if he says that. Hi there. Hi, hi there. there. Hi 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 there. Uh, hi there. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, hi there. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, what? Kittens, could you please go play somewhere else? I just wrote the last step of my new recipe as hi there. 
Now, what was supposed to happen after you take the hot cookie out of the oven? Take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. <gasps> <gasps> the clever parrot had remembered Dad's recipe perfectly. Thank you. That's it exactly. Well, I guess you do know how to talk after all. Thank you. Candy, please. Congratulations. Boo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How come you didn't say anything before when we asked you to talk? Well, my darlings, maybe you were talking too much yourselves. And she didn't have the chance to get a single word in. Ah. We're very sorry, Birdie. We should give you time to answer. Birdie? Hi there. Good afternoon. Oh, awesome! Meow, 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 meow. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Pudding. You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome. That night, they all tried Daddy's new cookie recipe, and their new parrot friend talked so much it was hard to believe it had ever been quiet at all. Snowy slopes and snowboards. One snowy morning, the kitty cats couldn't wait to get outside and ride their sleds and play on their slide. Oh, good morning, darling kittens. Where are you headed this early? Out sledding and sliding. But it had snowed all night long, and the slide was completely covered. Um, where did our slide go? Well, let's just ride our sleds down the slope that the slide made. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> awesome time! <laughs> but their sled sank right down into the loose snow. This is much harder than sliding on our slide. Hey, I think I can see it under here. <laughs> Let's dig it out then, all right? It'll be easy. Let's do this. But digging out the slide turned out to be harder than they thought. <laughs> It'll be summer before we're done with this. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! Will you dig the slide out from the snow with us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. As soon as I finish watching this exciting snowboard show. And number three is shredding and speeding his way down the slope. What a run! Oh, wow! I want to snowboard on our slide! Eh, a snowboard requires a much larger slope. Our slide just isn't big or safe enough. Well, at the moment, we haven't got a slide at all. Mommy! 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 Can you help us dig out our slide from under the snow? I'm sorry, my darlings. I'm late for the gym. If the snow is covering the slide, why don't you play, uh, something else? But the kitty cats didn't want to play something else. I heard that if you put salt on snow, the snow will totally melt. What if the salt melted the slide, too? Well, maybe we should just get a bulldozer. Our slide would be out of the snow in no time. I think a bulldozer would clear away more than just the snow. Hey, hey our, our slide! slide! Then we need to make a snowball that's truly, really huge. Then roll it down the slide to clean off the snow. What, what a, a great, great idea! idea. Now that is an impressive ball of snow. All that's left is for us to roll it down. And push, and push, and go. <laughs> Who's there? Hmm, that's strange. No one's here. Aww. Now the slide was covered in more snow than ever. Even a bulldozer couldn't dig our slide out of that enormous mountain. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Can I get a little help up here? Hey, that's Daddy's snowboard. 
It turned out Daddy's snowboard was perfect for riding on loose snow. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> My class at the gym was canceled, but riding with you looks more fun. Excuse me. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! <laughs> 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 now, this gigantic hill is perfect for snowboarding. <laughs> Just let that daddy cat show you how it's done. <laughs> Snowy slopes can be a mountain of fun, but they're even better when the whole family plays on them together. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This kitten's day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome ah. one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. Wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. <laughs> all hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> We already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Oh, wow, look, at, look that. at that! It's a magic town with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. 
We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. Thank <laughs> you.